people who really know me, I'm, I am uh, uh, actually I'm a pretty shy engineer uh, by, by, by nature. Um, I actually just like solving problems. That's if I, you know, would like to, if I could spend my day the way I want to, I'm literally thinking about how I, you know, solve the way that we're either managing capital or investing in businesses, et cetera. Um, but I also learned in the process that I have to uh, create opportunities for opportunities to come to us, as opposed to seeking and finding every single one. People say, well, why did you start Vista? And the short answer is because I knew no private equity firm would hire me. That's the truth, okay? I had worked on over $50 billion worth of M&A uh, transactions at Goldman Sachs and, and worked with a number of private equity firms in that construct, and I saw what they were looking for. And in the conversations, you know, you can feel it out. I was like, there is just no way they're going to ever hire me even though I know I'm better at what I do than what they do. Um, and so the only option, of course, if I wanted to do this, was to create my own firm. Now, that didn't come as a, oh, I want to be a private equity person. It actually came in, in like all things that sneak up on you that have meaningful impact, uh, you know, kind of snuck up as a whisper. And I didn't realize how important this was until I really reflected on my own life to inspire some people, some young people, African Americans, to actually say, I can now go do this. I realized that part of my role and my responsibility now, even though it comes at what I call the, you know, the, the, the personal sacrifice of, 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 of call it living a, 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 quiet, a, a quiet, nerdish life, which is what I actually prefer, um, is I have to give some of these young people someone that they can look to and say, okay, you know, if, if that guy can do it, I can do it, right? Um, but that's a part of it, and that's a part of uh, your responsibility, you know, that the next generation of, of, of students and, and some of the older folks, you have to take those leadership roles in your community to inspire. One of the most important things which I learned uh, in chemical engineering is you have to keep the ignorant uninformed. Don't tell everyone how to do it. <laughs> If you spot that arbitrage, go do it, and then build systems and barriers so that not everyone can come into your marketplace once they realize that you're making a fortune in it, okay? Right. So, I mean, be thoughtful about it. You know, people have put barriers to us for hundreds of years, and they've been thoughtful about it. <laughs> So be thoughtful about creating an economic opportunity for yourself and for your community where you can sustain that advantage. We do some things in our communities that no one does. The industry is set up for taking brilliant talent and exploiting it. And part of what we have to do as business students is think about how do we keep that exploitation from happening for as long as possible, it's going to happen, for as long as possible, and inure the economic benefits of that opportunity into our community. That's the key. This gets back to, remember, there have been barriers that have been erected for hundreds of years to keep us from accessing wealth for, for obvious reasons, right? Um, these, this is another set of barriers, and we've heard about it for years in terms of you know, access to high-speed internet in the communities. You know, 12 years ago, it was all about the digital divide, right? And some of that was actually structural um, um, barriers, and, and some were ideological. And of course, you know, in, in, the, in, in the schools that, that many of our people go to, they still don't have the sort of you know, access. So that's why we have to create the fabric of access that may not be in the schools and has to be at the libraries or you know, the boys and girls clubs and those sort of things. And that's the stuff that's important. So what we have to do is understand we have to do it en masse. And part of it is we've got to take specific leadership positions here to make sure it happens in our communities uh, in effective ways.